we are here at this uh, Brunnenwegel. How do you pronounce that? Brunnenwegel. Huh? Brunnenwegel. A small path. A small path. So, what you are saying, uh, Rike, is that uh, we are here. Where is the, the picture? You were. Ah, here we have already. The hospitals. We are in front of the hospitals. We are here. No, here we are here. We, we go this street now. So here, here is the small, the small way. Yes. The hospitals were here. We are here, yes. And you see now it's uh, built with stone, but at that time it was it seems to be also be wooden. Wooden houses, uh -huh. as you see. This yeah. is then. Okay. So, what would you say about this? Uh, this Hitte? might be the children hospital. Children hospital. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just one example for. You see, there were four hospitals. It may be this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there was a Schutzen company, Sartori Pergine Caldonazzo, 1995. Do you know I what think, was that? I think they they uh, initiated. They initiated the initiated plates, the this uh, plates. plate. Uh huh. Maybe the. Yeah, okay. So to document somehow this. Yes. Okay, so let's go into the hospital. So this is more yeah. or less the same, the same structure. And this is a, a beautiful picture. You can see the Gothic script. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you say Marienthal and Kramat Neusiedl. It's here. It's Marienthal. really Marienthal. Is the village another town? Yes, uh, where we pass through with the bus. Uh huh. So it's and when there is a museum, yes, yes. Marienthal yes. Museum. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the uh, where's the the hospital you were talking about? This one. Uh, this hmm. it's number three. The hospital number three. Uh huh. Okay. But it's a little bit more uh, behind us. Uh huh. You see. Yeah. The shoe factory. Uh huh. And we will go. Uh, Where we later. were close to there already, right? Yes, in the beginning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Barak and Lager. But you see here. The small barracks uh -huh. that were built in the year 1917. They were more the smaller, one. and and after they were finished, the people could go to these rooms, and they were not so crowded. Mm -hmm. So, but what you were saying uh, before was that Moreno came in 1915 still as a student yes. mm -hmm. then he went up to the end of december uh, 1915 then he had to go to sternberg it's in, today in bohemia there was a military hospital and he has to do the same things as a student for epidemic uh, care and Okay. But maybe there, there is a picture where, where Moreno is. Uh, uh, no. We can see Moreno working probably there. No, not no? there. It may be Silain or. or, yeah, or, Tolnay. or, or Tolnay, there's a picture. It's yeah. Tolnay. Yeah. Uh huh. But what you were saying was that then. He finished his studies as a doctor, and when he came back here 
in 1917, he was already to work as a doctor. Yes. But uh, between 1915 and 1917, what was the change uh, from the population point of view? It started with 300 people, then it started growing, growing up to how many? Um, the most people were about 1916, there were more uh, than 12,000 people uh, here okay. in the camp. Okay, and then? Then uh, they were decreasing slowly. In 1917, they, there were 9,000, and 1918, there were 8,000, and in the end, after, no, when the war finished, finished, they could leave the camp and they went home to Trentino, to their homes. They had okay. To